Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to create some interesting effects using only the distance between world position and your camera. You might recognize this terrain, it was included in the official Amplify Shader Editor package. It's a simple Unity terrain using a couple of splats, but we went a step further and added support for snow coverage, as you can see here. And we also added a coverage albedo. It's a simple low resolution texture, but it really helps when seen from a distance. So this is the coverage texture, and when you approach the terrain, it blends in into the default splats. I exaggerated the effect so it would be noticeable, but you can tweak it as necessary. You can adjust the transition distance and the fall off. Do keep in mind that I'm using a lower resolution texture here. You can use whatever data you require. Let's create a new scene and a new shader. I'll walk you through the process of constructing your own distance control for your blending effects. Let's begin. I'll start by creating a new Amplify shader. Right click, Create, Amplify shader, and I'll select Surface shader for this one. I'll name it. I'll create a new material. I'll also call it Distance Blend. Double click to open in the editor. And I'll also name it, you've guessed it, Distance Blend. Let's create a simple plane. Let's just pull it up a bit. There we go. And apply that material. Okay. And we're ready to begin. The first thing we must do is decide what we want to blend based on the distance between the camera and the plane. I'll just zoom in, and we can start by adding two colors by pressing 5 and left click. I'll set them to property, and we're going to blend these two colors. I'll use red and green, but you can use anything you want, for example, uh, texture or float, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to add a world position node, a world space camera position node, and the distance node. I'll connect the two. If I were to connect this node directly into the debug port, we wouldn't see much of an effect, because we have no way to control the actual distance. So before we do that, I'll walk you through what each node does. The world position node simply provides the per pixel position of any given surface in world space. The world space camera position node outputs the current camera position in world space. And the distance node outputs the Euclidean distance between two values or vectors. Now all we need is some form of control for this distance. In this example, I'll add the divide node using its shortcut key D. I'll add a float using its shortcut key 1 and left click. Set it to property. Connect it, and let's change its name to Transition Distance. Connect the divide to the debug port, and compile. Simply by dividing the distance resulting from the world position and world space camera position, we can actually control the point in which the blending effect starts to appear. We start to see some results in the viewport, but it's not quite what we want. We'll need to add a few other nodes in order to better control it. From the viewport, you can see that it seems that the falloff is a bit high, perhaps? So we'll have to have a way to control that, and the best way is to add a power node. You can use its shortcut key E and left click. Let's alt and drag the node into the wire in order to take advantage of existing connections. We'll need a float for the exponent. Let's use the shortcut key 1. Set it to property. And let's call this one transition falloff. Compile. And adjust the value. As you can see, the results are immediately apparent. Not only can we control the distance, but we can also control the falloff. Quite useful. In order to avoid incorrect values, it's best to add a clamp node. 
let's limit it from 0 to 1 and compile. This node will make sure that our values will never go higher than 1 or lower than 0. If you're not familiar with any of these nodes, I recommend checking the beginner tutorial series available on our YouTube channel. So we've created a pretty cool distance space effect, but now we should try it on a real case. Let's blend our two colors. For that I'll use a simple lerp node. You can create it using the shortcut key L. Let's connect them both. And we'll use the resulting value from the clamp as the alpha. Let's disconnect the debug port and connect the lerp directly. As you can see, let me just adjust the nodes here. The distance space effect is now using the two colors that we previously created. It's a simple yet very flexible effect. You could very well use it on water based effects for large bodies of water terrains as we previously showed you. There's a lot that we can do with a simple effect. You can even highlight enemies based on their distance in relation to your camera. Since this tutorial is pretty short, I'm going to show you another cool trick that I like. You've probably heard of shader functions and if you haven't tried it, this is a great opportunity to learn a bit more. You can actually take this entire network and store it, so to speak, inside a single node. It's what we call a shader function. I'll show you how to build one.